Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we've got a few topics to get into today, including one of my favorite, which is Shinmu. We'll also be looking at a new Grand Theft Auto game, as well as Stadia going away. But before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. That's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content on this channel. Now let's get started. So I want to start off the video with something I'm really excited for, which is the Shinmu anime, which is going to be premiering this weekend, Adult Swim as well as Crunchyroll. The series is going to start airing at 12.30 a.m. Eastern, Sunday morning, you may think of that as Saturday night, whatever works for you. But the series is going to be 13 episodes, and it's going to start from the very beginning of the story. So if you haven't played any of the games, you don't have to worry about being lost. This is going to take you right from the very beginning. And I must say I'm really excited for this because I love the Shinmu series, and I was a backer of the Shinmu 3 on Kickstarter. But also, I want to take a look at some screenshot comparisons. Now, these were sent out by the Adult Swim Twitter account. And as you can see here, these all look really, really close to the game. And this has got me really excited for this series. And I'm hoping this will help get more people excited. See, Shinmu 3 really didn't do that well in overall sales. And also, it, the reviews were kind of mixed on it. I personally think it was good, but I don't think it was as good as Shinmu 2. Some of that, I think, comes from the loss of Sega owning the title. Because in Shinmu, if you're not aware, it's one of the first games that had sort of that open concept. You could just walk through the city streets and you could go into arcades and play games, much like you can in other series like Yakuza. But one of the things that made Shinmu 3 not feel quite as good is that they couldn't use any of the Sega arcade games in the arcades. And it's something I really missed, but overall I enjoyed the game, and if you haven't played it, I would suggest you pick it up. And you can get the Shinmu 1 and 2 dual pack in HD. I think it's on PS4 and Xbox PC. So if you haven't checked that out already, uh, go ahead and give it a try. Next we have an announcement, sort of, about a sequel to Grand Theft Auto V. This comes from the Rockstar Games official website. It says, With the unprecedented longevity of GTA V, we know many of you have been asking us about a new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series. With every new project we embark on, our goal is always to significantly move beyond what we have previously delivered. We are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is well underway. We look forward to sharing more as soon as we are ready. So if you're not familiar with Grand Theft Auto V, this game came out over eight years ago. It was originally released on the 360 and PS3. So we're now three generations from when that game came out. Now it had a lot of longevity, obviously people were playing it, obviously it's made a lot of money, but people have been asking for a sequel for this for quite some time. With this announcement just kind of being vague and just saying that the next entry in the GTA series is well underway, it could be 10 years from the release of GTA 5 before we're seeing GTA 6. I could see this game not coming out until a couple years from now. Now they haven't actually announced it as GTA 6, but everybody's pretty much calling that. If they end up calling it something else, it still would be the sequel to Grand Theft Auto 5. Now GTA 5 has been playable on the PS5 and Xbox Series systems since the release of the systems through backward compatibility, but they are now getting official ports that are going to be coming out March 15th, and these are supposed to have like 4K and lots of other new graphical improvements. If this is your thing, you might want to pick this out to tide you over for the next maybe two or three years. In our last bit of news, Business Insider had an interesting article about Google Stadia. Now, if you'll remember, Stadia shut down their internal studios late last year. This update kind of gives some question as to the future of Stadia. Referring to that shutdown, this article states, Since then, the company has shifted focus of its Stadia division largely to securing white-label deals with partners that include Peloton, Capcom, and Bungie, according to people familiar with the plans. 
Google is trying to salvage the underlying technology which is capable of broadcasting high-definition games over the cloud with low latency, shopping the technology to partners under its new name, Google Stream. The Stadia consumer platform, meanwhile, has been deprioritized within Google, Insider said, with a reduced interest in negotiating blockbuster third-party titles. The focus of leadership is now on securing business deals for Stream, people involved in those conversations said. The changes demonstrate a strategic shift in how Google, which has invested heavily in cloud services, sees its gaming ambitions. So with the term deprioritizing of Stadia, this sounds to me like they're not really going to focus on that anymore. They also added some things in this article about how they were focusing on smaller titles, more independent titles. And this tells me that the days are numbered for this service. Now, Google may keep it running for years, not really adding more content, because if you're not aware with Stadia, you had to purchase the game in order to play it. So you could have a library of games there that if the service shuts down, you would just lose, unless Google came up with some type of agreement with another service like Game Pass streaming or PlayStation Now, or even was it Luna that Amazon is pushing? And I think part of the problem that went on with this service is the fact that you did have to purchase the games in order to play them. I think if they had maybe gone with a subscription model, it may have panned out a little more because I think people would see a better value in that. But what do you think? Drop me a note in the comments and let me know. And are you going to watch Shenmue this weekend? Let me know what you think of it if you do. I want to thank you for watching and be good.